We are still talking about hormones in the introduction of chapter 6. We have three points that we are going to talk about today. These are the um, methods by which scientists get to know the function of hormones. And we will know also some characteristics of hormones. And finally, we will know the types of glands in the human body as we will talk about the endocrine glands in the in the next time. The endocrine glands are the glands which secrete hormones as we mentioned in the previous video. So first of all, the methods by which the scientists get to know the function of hormones. There are two methods. They uh, actually removed the endocrine glands that they want to uh, inspect so that they can see what change will occur in the function of the organ or the growth rate of the organ. Will it increase, decrease, the uh, organ will malfunction or change its function. All of this was uh, expected when removing the endocrine gland. Or they would actually take the extract of the endocrine gland and study it chemically in vitro or in vivo so that they can test the effects of this extract and accordingly they can assess the function of the hormone produced. So these are the two methods that we have in the book. Next thing, the characteristics of hormones. We, um, uh, we have that hormones are organic. They are organic structures. They can be proteins, they can be steroids, which are lipid derivatives, and they can be amino acids. And also, hormones are produced in very, very little amounts, measured in micrograms. A microgram equals 1 over a thousand of a milligram. 1 over a thousand of a milligram, so very little amounts. And the most important part here is the function of hormones, the function of hormone. So hormones actually have a very important function of controlling the body growth rate, the uh, behavior, emotional and intellectual development of the body, sexual maturity, and um, the most important function is called homeostasis. So homeostasis is the process of keeping the internal activity of the body in balance with the external environment so that the human being can keep on living properly. So a very important function. 